Hey everyone, so I'm back with another message. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the collective at this time. Hmm. All right, so one of the cards here is I saw all I, all I needed to see. And you can't lie anymore. You can say whatever you want. I know the truth. And what's this attached? You made me think I was the only one. So someone's finding out that they're not the only one here. All right. And it's like somebody is, has been trying to cover this up for the longest. Someone's about to find out the truth, if you haven't already, that someone here has been lying and pretending that something is what it is not. All right. So let's. Ooh, I will sleep with you until I find someone else. So you have somebody here who is roaming. They're um, trying to find somebody else to be with. And in the meantime, they're looking at you as though you're just an option that they can sleep with. Ooh, where is my money? So somebody owes someone money. What? Is someone paying money to sleep with people or something like that? Someone could be... You know, I'm doing something for money. It says it wasn't me. <laughs> so, someone may have gotten someone confused here. Your friend is crushing on me. So, somebody has a friend who's watching um, their partner, Hemi. Or somebody, yeah, somebody could be telling you that a friend of yours is kind of like giving them the eye. Or you could notice that about someone here. Yeah. All right. Let me get some more here. What else? What, what do we have going on here that we need to know? Yeah, you can't pretend it never happened. So something happened here. And I feel like somebody doesn't want to talk about it. Someone is just trying to brush over the issue, you know. And um, someone is saying, no, you're not going to you're not going to get away that easy. We were planning our wedding. What the fuck? So this is someone who you were either married to or was engaged to someone else. This is more of like an engagement. We were planning our wedding. So this could be someone who you were talking to about, you know, being together long term. And you're finding out, yeah, possibly even getting a mortgage with you have mortgage. Job loss or layoffs are about to take place in your environment, so prepare yourself by saving and managing your priorities. So that's for someone here. All right. So yeah, you could have been, you could have a home with this person, um, or some property or something here. I feel like someone could be getting karma in the form of maybe losing a job or something, but that may not even be the case. Someone just needs to kind of be careful about getting too comfortable in the work you know in the job because there are some jobs layoffs okay all right let's see what else do we have here what else do we have here use discernment when it comes to someone because i feel like somebody is like they're not around for good okay they're just trying to buy themselves some time until something else comes around. And, they, and for some of you, I don't feel like they care if it's someone you know. You became so cold to me as if I wasn't there. So this person, someone feels like someone was cold, distant to them. If it's this person, you may have become cold with this person because you, you knew that they were not up to no good. You know, you knew that something wasn't right about this person. This could be someone who's focused on money or like somebody owes someone some money. Yeah, hit it and quit it. This person here could have a lot of one night stands. If you were on fire, I'd add more fuel to the fire. So someone has, someone is pissed off. Someone is pissed off when they find out that someone didn't intend to be with them long term or someone will be pissed off when they find this out because someone just wants to hit it and quit it now this could have been something that happened with a, another person you know if you're dealing with someone who you know is a cheater there could be someone on on the outside of the connection who's upset that this person may have used them for sex yep two can play this game so i feel like someone wants to retaliate someone wants to get this person back this could be you or 
I don't know, but I feel like there could be another person. They are looking at me like I'm a homewrecker. Yeah, somebody in this situation, for some of you, is a third party. And this person is like, they never intended to be in no, in no situation like this. Somebody never intended. You put my family and friends against me. Somebody turned their family and friends against, against them only to um, basically like make someone an option. So it's like you, you came in and did all this damage, caused all this confusion. Yep, karma will deal with you. I'm telling you, somebody's going gonna go through karma and it could be in the form of their money, losing a job. Okay, with mortgage out here, someone could have struggle with somewhere to stay. Something like that as well. But I feel like this person, for some of you, they caused all kind of confusion in your family just to turn out to be not even worth your time. So they wrecked your home, may have even made you look like a home wrecker, and then they're out the door because it was they they had no intention of being around or this is what someone is, is plotting to do. You know, use discernment here. Something, Some things have to be nipped in the bud early before it becomes a bigger problem, yep. Yeah? So you see where there's a problem here with this person. Go ahead and nip it in the bud because I feel like someone does not have good intentions. And when you find out that there are other people around after they have already destroyed your family with all this manipulation that they have going on, they're going to be on about their way to someone else to do the same thing. Okay, so let's see what, what's, what else is going on with this person, whoever this is, because this person here likes a lot of drama where they're definitely in their head thinking about something you know what's going on with this person yeah they're a spiritual hater hates on your spirituality light magic and power so this person just has a they don't have any light in them from what i'm seeing yeah and it could be a fire sign you got the fire here on this card or you could be a fire sign and then it says, if you were fire, I'd add more fuel to the fire. So somebody is really triggered here in this situation. I feel like for some, somebody's mad at a third party who's mad with them for putting them in a third party. Because not all third parties want to be third parties. Somebody lied to someone in certain cases, okay? So you have someone that wants to be like you, act like you, dress like you, and copies you. I get the feeling that... Someone here, yep, there's that bad karma. Somebody's getting bad karma. Or they're going to. Yeah, because they like to hook up with people and then leave people alone. Well, I feel like someone's conscience is, is going to be eating them up. Yeah, you blocked this person. Yeah. But with impersonator, I don't know. Look at this happiness hater. Some of you were planning to marry this person. Or there was someone here who was jealous of... Hmm, I feel like this. someone could have been jealous that this person chose you for a long-term commitment. This third party here for some of you. And I feel like this third party began to try to you know do things to make this person want them even more with impersonator yeah because it says we were planning our wedding what the fuck and on here there's a wedding so i feel like this is someone who some of you were engaged to and then you find out that they were dealing with someone else yeah and that's when you were like you know what i don't i'm not taking any more of this i'm done yeah now, they are looking at me like a home wrecker. Like, if there's a third party or this is you, like I said, I feel like someone here didn't know that this person had given an offer to someone else, you know? Somebody's going through some financial problems and some legal issues, or they're about to, yeah. They're going to be crying in a minute, whoever this is that doesn't like your spirituality here. Yeah, something could be about some money, somebody stealing money or trying to get money out of somebody. Or someone could result to stealing. Yep, look, marrying for money is out here. I feel like somebody told, and boss daddy, so someone could be well off. And I feel like someone could have told this person, like, they just want to marry you for money. They just want to be with you. And 
you were planning a wedding with someone or if this person was planning to marry someone else. I don't know what the situation is. But I feel like someone here got into someone's head just to kind of mess that up. But I, but I feel like everyone's accountable for their own actions here because this person here didn't have to fall for the okie doke here. Someone's being a wolf in sheep's clothing out here. Okay, someone I feel tried to make it seem like they were concerned and that they were just wanting someone's best interest at heart. The whole time they were either trying to steal someone's man, steal someone's um, happiness, something like that. What do we have? Yeah, see, it could be someone that you know your friend is crushing on me. And then when you look at here, this is more like a friend of the bride right here. So this could be someone that someone knows is the third the third party could be someone you know or that's very close to you that's in the family or something like that. That someone could have been dealing with Now somebody's looking for dirt or vice versa. Yeah, I feel like somebody's angry. I feel like some for some of you, somebody didn't expect for this person to get that serious. It's what I'm feeling with you. I feel like somebody, whoever, whoever they were messing with, for some of you that did know that there was someone in the picture, they didn't like the fact that they're they don't like the fact that they are being rejected by this person for this person to go into a commitment. This is what I'm feeling for some of you. This person. Is trying to get rid of a third party so that they can commit. I feel like there's a, a person who's starting all kind of trouble in the family because they're close. Somebody's close to somebody's family. They're causing all kind of problems and drama because this person wants to move on. It says, move on, thank you, next. So now I feel like there's someone who's, you know, doesn't want to hear that. You know, yeah, somebody's talking shit because this person was a player here. For some of you, this person's definitely a player, but they got someone that's chasing them down because, and they're trying to run. Look at this, chasing and running. Lord have mercy. Somebody trying to get away from somebody, and it's like they can't. This person here, what's their problem? What is this third party's issue? Bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles. Someone doesn't want to miss an opportunity. So something could have been about money. Somebody could have been, yep, five of cups. Somebody doesn't want someone to move on. Someone's still crying over spilled milk. So I feel like there are multiple people in this situation that are upset. And at the end of the day, I feel like there may have been just one person who was wrong. Because the third party knows both people. And then it's like one person was just being betrayed by multiple people what's up with this third party what's up what's up with this third party four of pentacles somebody's holding back from them yep and with the chariot somebody's holding back from a third party because they want to move on they, yeah look the wheel of fortune with the four of wands somebody's coming back around to try to fix something here but they got another a third party here. Yeah, they're coming in quickly. There is a, a third party that is um that feels left out because they didn't get chosen. They feel like they if this person didn't choose them and, and leaving them out in the cold, then it's almost like <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at the cards. It's like somebody who was just very childish and that would do all kinds of tricks or something here with the hangman and the page of wands to try to get someone's attention. This is someone who definitely um, doesn't back down that easy. Yeah, a king of wands. This king of wands person, tell me about the king of wands. Knight of pentacles. This, this king of wands is moving methodically trying to... Um, get through this person, get away from this person, like they're being strategic in how they approach this situation, because I do feel like um, someone did mess up with someone, and they want to straighten this situation out, but this third party here coming out is the queen of pentacles in reverse is money hungry, somebody, this could be a, 
some a baby mom or something like that that they have cut off king of sword fell right on top of the queen of pentacles in reverse for a sword this person is trying to you know get away from this situation they're trying to heal something five ones in reverse they're trying to get rid of all the drama that's going on in their life eight of cups with the moon so, so And I feel like someone else like found out what was going on and walked away with the Eight of Cups. You know, the secrets are coming out. You can't play this game but for so long. Somebody here has a third party that's pissed off. That's, that's, and, you know, we hear it all the time. But I feel like this third party, this, who is this third party? Because I feel like they're very close to the family. Can I get something from the Revealed Intention deck? Yeah, this third party could have came to the wedding and all. Someone is living a double life. They may be married or involved in another connection. This person may be hiding their sexual fantasies and preferences. Someone is going through a spiritual transformation at this time. They may be in isolation or retreating to seek healing in life's purpose. So yeah, this person is healing. They're going through some, some type of transformation. And I feel like they're trying to rid themselves of some things from the past. You know? And um, there's someone who's making it very difficult because I get it, though. For some of you, someone lied to everybody. I do. I feel that. Someone has unconditional love for a person, whether together or apart. Someone holds this person close to their heart. Someone here, um, yep, someone is refusing to release a person energetically. This may be a past relationship or an energy vampire. And then someone is an extrovert. I feel like it's this karmic or this third party um, that is very outspoken about everything that's going on. This person wants to be heard because they're upset too. So I feel like this, this somebody promised somebody some money or supposed to be taking care of somebody or whatever the case is. And, and, um... And there's a lot of drama that's coming out about this situation. It's like the marriage is being called off and, and everything. It's like everybody upset is what I'm getting. It's like everybody's upset right now. What's the situation? Court paperwork filled. Okay, so if this was a marriage, and I feel like for some of you this was it hadn't gotten to that, but because the happiness hater is out here, someone did get married. And someone married to someone who was possibly dealing with someone close to the family. Yep, somebody wants to reconcile. Someone wants to come together. Someone feels the connection is, is very strong. Escapade, vacation, hideaway. They may come wanting to get away, go on vacation, spend time away from all the drama here. Someone could also be an escapist. They just kind of run away from their problems. You got threatened, embarrassed. Somebody's embarrassed. Somebody's embarrassed or somebody's going to be looking ashamed at what they've done. Or there's this, this other person that's about to make a fool of themselves. Yeah, somebody might get themselves locked up, closed in, trapped, frustrated. So somebody feels embarrassed because they put themselves in this hole. Yep. And, and I feel like for some of you, this person has someone looking for them or they're looking for you. Maybe you have kind of, no, never mind, this is retaliation, punishment, payback. There's a third party, I'm telling you, that is looking for somebody online, TikTok. They are uh, deadline time running out because somebody wants to retaliate. They want punishment. Someone is upset that someone hit it and quit it. Or didn't take them serious and maybe they sold them a dream. Someone's reminiscing about how someone threw them out in the trash. That's what it's saying. Recalling in trash. And and this person is upset. But some of you, like I said, this person didn't know about you or you didn't know about this other person. But this this other situation, someone was close to the family and knew exactly what was going on. And there was gossip pettiness jealousy and envy i feel like this person somebody was surrounded by a lot of females and you could be a feminine and you had a lot of females or there's a lot of females in the family or something like that i feel like a lot of people around you knew exactly what this person was doing 
some of you are moving changing location you're just moving away so for some of you this person is looking for you maybe you have relocated here entrapment pregnancy money heartstring for some of you this person has gotten you pregnant or gotten someone else pregnant and that's why this person this third party is upset because not only did they sell them a dream and lie they could have gotten a third party pregnant played a lot of games this, somebody's reckless as hell somebody's got the receipts to show yep somebody's got receipts proof that they've been with this person and someone feels an unexplainable pull they just can't resist or this person felt drawn to who this third party like they just couldn't resist i feel like someone was lured they fell into some temptation now somebody's feeling sad broken and alone and hoping praying and yearning for something to to change wanting something to go their way here on the table yeah now they want to make an offer a proposal and they want to commit okay but like i said for some of you you married this person or you were engaged to this person you were already on your way there hmm. and this is what i'm saying like people play as though they'll never get caught but honey it's gonna come out yeah somebody could be setting boundaries firm boundaries are needed now I feel like boundaries are being set now against this person. Because now there's a the trust has been broken. What else here? Yeah, somebody wants revenge. This could be you. Yeah, something was just strictly sexual. Yep. I feel like something was strictly sexual and somebody got very upset. They, they're the one that's saying you can't pretend it never happened. Yeah. But someone has met their true love. Now, for some of you, here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. For some of you, all this stuff happened in the past. This person's trying to move on to be in a connection with you. But they got they got some mess here. Look at the time apart. Destined partnership. The timing is not right. The timing isn't right because there is someone on this person's trail. And they got to get rid of all their options. They got to set boundaries with um certain people from the past that are trying to hold on to them so for some of you you're being told to be patient everything will unfold in divine timing for some of you you may just go ahead on and let this person do what they got to do you know get stable or whatever and um fix whatever they have going on in the background and just know that if you choose that, this person is secretly yearning for you. If you're not speaking to this person or not dealing with them at all, they're secretly yearning for you. And they just got some drama going on. They got some stuff that um, they got some made for TV type of drama that's happening in their family. It's affecting their finances. Um, for some of you, there's a baby. All kind of shit. Yeah, true love is coming out here again. So I feel like this person does see you as their true love. I feel like someone regrets that they've gotten themselves in such a mess because they would have never thought that they would like meet someone that they could actually love. And so at the time that they met you, for some of you, um, this person was already in a mess. And they began to get to know you. You began to get to know this person. And this made this person want to put in the effort to be a better man or woman. But with that, when you're ready to make that change, you know, sometimes the people around you are not ready for you to change. And I feel like this person has some past, you know, relationships that they were still attached to. For some of you, this person is just trifling as hell because the person that they were dealing with was so close to either your family or their family or whatever the case. They kept somebody around and you might not have even known that this was the third party for some, however this spins. But I feel like for, for some, this person is trying to cut this, this other person off. I feel like they're trying to cut this person off. But um, it's not that easy. And I'm going to clarify. Are they cutting, trying to cut this third party off to be with... Their divine partnership. Ten of Cups. 
they want to be happy. They want to be with the person that makes them happy. They, if, if it's a marriage, they want to be in the marriage or they want to save it. They want to heal the situation. Three of swords in reverse. Oh, my, my dick. Yeah, I feel like they're, hurt, they're heartbroken by the fact that they broke the person's heart that they love. Even though they were trifling for some of you. Two of Cups. There's disharmony right now between them and the person that they really want to be with. And I feel like that's what's hurting them the most because they want someone to believe that they they'll put in the effort to work on the connection if they're if they you know would give them another chance. Yep, seven of pentacles. This person has had time to think about what they've lost. They've had time to think about the seeds that they've sown. And for some of them, they know that they may have lost the love of their life. Queen of Pentacles. For some of them, they know that this other person can never come close with to, to the person that they're losing here. So they don't want this cycle to end. They really don't. They want to heal it before it's too late. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Before you become single, before you decide that you're going to just end it completely, go on to something else and flaunt and show off your sexiness and <laughs> for somebody else to see. They don't want that. They do not want to see you be with someone else. But at the end of the day, I'm going to say, hey, some of you became the queen of sword, king of sword to this person. They became a king of sword to this third party. You became cold to them because once you found out, you couldn't pretend that it never happened. Somebody brought a lot of drama into your life. Somebody's gotten someone pregnant. Knight of Wands in reverse to the Empress. Now they're all offended. Somebody here looking over their shoulder here. Yep. Because there, someone could be waiting to see the truth about this Empress. You know, about a pregnancy, a mother figure or something like that. And I feel like secretly with the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, somebody knows that someone was lying, being sneaky or something behind their back. They don't want to. They don't want to deal with the truth that yes, you you stabbed someone in the bag. You betrayed someone. You know. They're trying to get. In. I feel like for some of you, you know, they're trying to find out whether that baby is belongs to them. Y'all know we've been getting that story. I'm not even reading the reversals here, but um. For some of you, this person will do right if it's their child. They will. If they if they planted the seed there, they'll do right. Look, three of pentacles. They'll work with the, the child's mother. Because see, this right here, it always reminds me of a baby right there. They'll do that. But I feel like someone's doing DNA testing. You see that flashlight? Someone wants to do DNA testing before they move forward with anything, Okay. They want to know if that if the child is theirs, page of cups in reverse or not. But they do know that they were being sneaky now. They were being sneaky. They knew that they were over there offering up something. And they know that they most likely, you know, could have produced a child with, with someone else. And put their whole family, the love, in, in jeopardy. Now they're in, re, in regret over that. Because there's a seed that's been sown here now. And it was sown out of greed, out of lust. So somebody's got to reap what they sown here, all right? So I'm going to leave it here, guys. I mean, this is this is someone's story. Decide what you're going to do. If this is your story, wherever you see fit in here, just know that um, do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Ain't no need to retaliate. If you have a child with this person, you know, take it to the courts. Let them handle it. But there's no need to sabotage and cause all kind of problems let the law handle it before somebody end up in jail okay so guys thank you so much for your support um i will be working on more videos as we go into the new year um trying to decide if i want to go live very soon most likely I, I will maybe next week all right but thank you guys so much for your support and i will see you guys on the next video